Don't come in here trying to check to see if we sleep or nothing. And we would have got away. And I'ma blame him. I'ma blame him. Today is going to be a Wingstop mukbang and I'm going to be telling you guys a little story time. So before we get started, I just want to eat a couple bites of my food because I'm going to be hungry. And I want to show y'all what I can get right from Wingstop. So... First, I have an eight-piece swing combo. So, the story time that I'm about to tell y'all. The story time I'm about to tell y'all is the story about when I caught myself running away when I was younger. And the time, around this time, I was probably like 10 or 11, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. And now that I look back on the story, it's like, that's crazy. So... It's two other people that's in this story. My cousins. I don't want to put their name out there without their permission. So, I'm just going to call them something else besides their real names. So, I'm going to call these cousins um, Jasmine and Passion. Okay? So, um, you know how little girls are when they're younger. Um, I guess you could say a little boy crazy. My cousins, they were a little older than me. So at this time, I think they are in middle school and I'm still like in elementary, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these honey hot wings be dry as fuck. Mm. I'm supposed to be juicing. Barely any meat on these wings. Okay. So, like I was saying, it was me and my two other cousins. Jasmine and Passion and we were talking about really just leaving out the house it was around summer it was summertime and we were gonna leave out the house to go like meet up with some friends or whatever so anyways before we were leaving out the house we were just um putting stuff in place so my grandma wouldn't wake up so um, we had a pillow and we put a pillow like up to the alarm system so when you open like the window or the door you know how the alarm goes off like back door or side door or you know like that so we were putting everything in place we had put the pillow over there to block out the sound of us opening the window to the room to sneak out the window and go hmm So, we also 
just in case if my grandma wants to come in the room we put um pillows underneath like the bed to like to make it seem like somebody was in the bed and that wasn't the case anyways so we did all that setting up covering the alarm for the sound to go out putting the pillows stuff in the <clears throat> beds making it seem like somebody was actually in the bed and we snuck out the window and we jumped the gate so we was gone i'm not gonna say we was we wasn't gone even that long it was gone maybe 10 minutes we come back jump the gate and try to open the window but the window is locked y'all the window is locked at this point so we thinking that my grandma woke up, it's the window locked, so obviously she had to find out that we snuck out because she came in the room and locked the window. But it was her husband. He came in the room, which isn't my grandfather or anything like that, nor was he my cousin's grandfather. Hmm. Hmm. So when we found out that we couldn't get back in the door, at this point, we're like, we might as well just run away because we know we're going to get our ass beat. Beat. Um, okay. We might as well just run away at this point because she already knows that we left the house. And we don't want to get in trouble. So, we tried different ways to get in. I'm going to say that. We tried different ways to get in the house. It just was not working. We wanted to knock on the door, but like we said, we just didn't want to get in trouble. So, anyways, we decided to run away. Quote, unquote, run away. We decided to run away. So, we walking and walking and walking and walking. And, y'all, we walked for so long. Like, when I say we walk for so long, we walk for so long, I had blisters on my feet, on my toes, all of that. We walked for a long time. And if you're from Dallas, I'm going to tell y'all how far we walked. So, we walked all the way from Oak Cliff to Lancaster. And it's right there next to each other, but for us to be so young, like... That was a lot of walking. That was very dangerous. That was very dangerous for us to do when we was children. So I told you guys in the past, I'm like, y'all, my feet is hurting. I'm tired of walking. Let's just go back. I'm getting tired. Let's just call my mama. When I was younger, my mom was like very understanding and she was very like cool with a lot of things. And I just assumed that she would be cool with this as well. Was I wrong? I was so wrong. So anyways, around the time, like we're walking or whatever, it's morning time, maybe like two o'clock in the morning. But stores are closed, so it's not a lot of stores that's open around this time. And um, walking and walking, and we finally found the store that was open. My cousins them telling me, are you sure your mom's gonna be okay? Are you sure, you know, we're not gonna get in trouble and all that stuff? And I'm like, yeah, y'all, like I promise, like, my mom is, is cool. She's not gonna trip, she, she gonna let us come. I was visiting over to my grandma's house. Cause I'm like, yeah, my mom's cool. She, she ain't gonna trip. Yeah. I called my mom and I prayed with court. And she was acting like everything was okay. I was like, oh. Of course, she was acting like that at first. I'm thinking my mama all cool with it, you know. She all, like, you know, answering the phone, like, where you at? Like, y'all good. Like, I'm gonna come pick y'all up. No worries, and I'm not gonna tell y'all, Granny, I got y'all or I found y'all, or they like that. So I'm telling my cousins, my mama said it's all good, she finna be on her way, she ain't gonna tell Granny that she found us, none of that. Hmm. No, tell me why. 
Oh, I'm in my granny pulled up together. Yes, they did. They pulled up together. And I, I was like, mama, I thought you weren't gonna tell them. I thought you weren't gonna say nothing. But that's why I was in trouble. So really my mama didn't wanna hear nothing I had to say. So yeah, this is home. I am wearing what? But not really, like I ran away. Because I wasn't even gone that long. Not even four hours. I wasn't gone that long. So, and the funny part is, we've snuck out the house before. We had been sneaking out the house, that was the funny part. Like we've been, been sneaking out the house. Like to go chill, not even to go chill, but like, you know how when it's a lot of kids outside at night and people just having fun, playing, racing, all that stuff. So yeah, we would just like sneak, and it's the summertime. So we would be outside. This is back in the day. Y'all know kids don't do that no more because they always on these phones. So they don't even enjoy themselves outside. But back then, baby, we was outside. And we wanted to stay outside all day and all night. Mm. That wasn't our first time sneaking out the house. It was just our first time getting caught. And I really honestly feel like we wouldn't have got caught if my grandma's husband was not there. Mm, I don't care. Don't come in here. Trying to check and see if we sleep or nothing. And we would have got away. I'ma blame him. I'ma blame him. Cause we would have got away with the sneaking out and sneaking back in. And he wouldn't have came up in there and locked the window because I honestly, truthfully, feel like my grandma did not come up in there because like I said, we have ran we not ran away, but we have snuck out the house before. And now time did we ever get caught. Not once. Not one time. But all of a sudden here and we got caught? Nah. Y'all wouldn't believe it. But even after that time, because like I said, I was young around that time. Maybe like ten or eleven. Like I can't remember how old I was, but I was a little ass kid. I shouldn't have been doing none of that. But even after that, could y'all believe that I ran away again from home? And it's literally no reason why I was running away. Just but to have fun. Just to do whatever I wanted to do, have fun. But that's not how life works. That is not how life works. I mean, so I eventually learned. I had to live and learn. Learn my lesson. I'm older now and I just feel like that's something I just would never want my child to do with me. And I just want to tell my mama, I'm sorry. <laughs> my granny, I'm sorry. But <clears throat> this was a little short story time because I, I didn't really go into all the details like I could have because I would prefer the other two people that was with me in that day to be with me. But I don't know if they'll come on camera and like say the story, but if they will, I will come back and do another one. I might go part two or something. So yeah, I'll come back and do a part two if they're willing to come on camera and tell the story with me again. <clears throat> also y'all, I have not forgot about that story time that I was supposed to be telling y'all about the stripper vlog like the stripper vlog what happened in that vlog but I guess I can give y'all a little preview of that story nah it's too juicy it gotta be a, a whole separate video by itself be like it's so many times in my life I could have died and y'all I'm still young I'm 22 years old but it's so many times in my life that I just could have been dead and gone like literally it's so many events but God that's all I gotta say. If y'all do still wanna see that 
the story time from that vlog you know what happened that night all the crazy stuff that happened please like 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 this video and comment down below back then when i had did that stripper vlog i was not married so now i'm married so i want to respect my husband and make sure i have permission from him to do it you know i don't want to disrespect him or anything like that get permission i also want to get permission from the because it's people that's in the story that i want to tell y'all about so it's the story and it's the people that's actually in the story so let me know if y'all want to see that. Also, I'm gonna do like an updated Q and A. So if you guys do have suggestions or if you guys want to ask me questions or anything, go ahead and follow my Instagram. Lay dot my line two and an X like two times. Follow my Instagram and I will post a story. And y'all can just ask me questions there, like a little Q and A. And I will be more than happy to make a video and answer all the questions you guys have for me. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next time.